These are the instructions for the addition of ingredients for Brewers with a Brew Keg 50, our combined conical fermenter and keg. This product allows a brewer to ferment, carbonate, clarify and dispense a brew all in the one vessel. For extract brewers, you'll need two Williams Warren kits, a can opener, scissors, spatula, thermometer and a plastic jug. You'll also need a kitchen kettle and the first step is to boil 2 litres or 68 fluid ounces. Then remove the two yeast sachets from the two liquid malt extract cans. Open the two cans of liquid malt extract with the can opener and add the extract directly to the brew keg cone. Keep the cans and the remaining residue. Fill each can halfway with the boiled water from the kettle and dissolve the extract residue by stirring with the spatula. Hold the cans at the top area where they are less hot and add the contents of both cans to the brew keg. Add the remaining boiled water in the kitchen kettle to the extract in the cone and stir it all with the spatula and dissolve it completely. It is important to scoop into the area above the valve to dissolve any settled extract there. Then add 2 litres of cold water and stir that in. Next, use the scissors to open the two bags of dry malt extract and add these to the brew keg. Stir the dry malt extract into the liquid with the spatula. You may find that there are a few lumps that will not dissolve, but this is okay as they will dissolve themselves over the next few hours. For cider brews, all you need to do is add two pouches of Williams Warren cider extract and the two yeast nutrient sachets and then the two litres of boiled water from the kitchen kettle. At this point you may add any extra ingredients, for example a hop tea made from hop pellets and a French press coffee plunger. For more examples of these sorts of techniques, visit the Williams Warren website and download our advanced recipes. You can now fill the brew keg up to the fill mark with water from the jug or more conveniently from a water hose. The fill level is marked on the outside of the brew keg and is 50 litres or 13.2 American gallons. Internally the fill level is 11 centimetres or 4.3 inches from the bottom of the vessel rim thread. Just before you get to the fill mark, leave a little room for the rehydrated yeast and stir all the contents. Next, ensure the bleed valve at the bottom of the sediment bottle is closed and then add 200 millilitres or 6 fluid ounces of water at 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Then open both yeast sachets with the scissors and add the yeast to this water. Then swirl the sediment bottle for 30 seconds to help rehydrate all the yeast. After 30 seconds, add the rehydrated yeast directly to the top of the wort in the brew keg. Screw the sediment bottle onto the vessel butterfly valve under the brew keg and then open the butterfly valve fully so that the liquid wort fills the sediment bottle. Leave the valve fully open. Top up to the fill mark. The target temperature when full is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius which is 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. If your water source in winter is cold, as indicated here, you will need to add one to two extra jugs of boiled water during the top up. This target temperature is very important as it helps ensure a quick onset of fermentation. Ensure the lid seal is on the vessel rim and then screw the lid on well. Then set the variable pressure relief valve at two and a half full turns or five half turns. The brew keg is now at its fermentation stage. Try to maintain a temperature range between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius or 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature range, Williams Warren ales, lagers and ciders will all ferment in about four days. You can of course optionally ferment lagers at a lower temperature, but if you're going to do that we suggest you start at this temperature at yeast pitching and then adjust your ambient temperature down. For more information, see the next video on fermentation.